In this presentation, we will take a look at an example problem recording encumbrances and expenditures. The information is going to be on the left side. We're going to record that information with a journal entry and then post it to our worksheet. That worksheet having a beginning trial balance, then the adjustments, then the ending trial balance. This will help us to ground us in the activities that we are doing. The trial balance in order, we have cash, which is going to be our assets. Then we have the orange accounts which are going to be the liability accounts vouchers payable in this case then we have the light blue which what which is what would be the equity accounts for a for-profit organization here we're going to think of them as the net assets the fund balance type of accounts then the blue accounts the dark blue accounts would be the income statement or temporary accounts those accounts that would flow in and be closed out to the equity accounts at a for-profit organization similarly here we will have the income statement accounts, but we're also going to have those other accounts that kind of muddy the waters with the governmental accounting in the general fund, including the estimated accounts, estimated revenues and appropriations, as well as encumbrances. And we'll take a look at those as we move forward. Information on the left says that we have purchase orders issued for, and then we have the breakout of the categories for the general uh, governmental, public safety, public works, culture and recreation, health and welfare, and miscellaneous, and then the total amount and so what we're going to do is record this information with one line item remember this is going to be something that is going to be purchase orders or estimates things that we have not actually received things that we have not actually paid for if we were to think about this in a for-profit type of organization we a purchase order is something that we would document but it's not something that we would record because there's no financial transaction we haven't gotten anything such as inventory we haven't paid for anything and therefore we'll track the purchase order but we won't track it through a posting to the general ledger here we will why because we want to be more transparent we want to be able to say on the financial statements we have allocated these funds we can't do it with the expenses or expenditures the expended the expenses related accounts on the budgetary account because we don't have the normal factor that would require us to be able to record the expenses, namely the fact that we have incurred the expense or that we paid for it, depending if we're on an accrual basis or a cash basis. Therefore, we're gonna make this other account encumbrances, not a budgetary account, not a normal income statement account, more of a clearing account. Remember a clearing account, I would think of as something that's gonna go from zero up and then go back down to zero based on something other than simply closing out like temporary accounts to the equity accounts or the fund balance type accounts but on some other factor in this case we're going to put it into encumbrances when we have the estimate or the purchase orders in this case then we're going to take it out when those expenses become actualizable in terms of recording them as an expense or expenditure under the modified accrual basis to do so so we're going to say that we have then this transaction it's going to be debiting encumbrances crediting encumbrances outstanding so if we post that out, it will look like this. We're going to be increasing encumbrances. It's going to be going up similar to an expenditure, but remember it's not an expenditure. So it's going to be going from zero up in this direction with the debit. And then the other sides go into that account. It's going to be an equity type of account because once again, we don't know where the other side should go because this is a normal accrual account. So we make up basically what would be an equity account for a for-profit type of organization, a net asset type of account. And we're going to call that uh, encumbrances outstanding. So note that these two accounts will always be equal and opposite. And when we reverse them, they'll just be equal and opposite. We'll reverse them when we have to record the related expenditure at the point in time. They should be recorded in accordance with the modified accrual method. The next item is we're going to say that we have now received this information, goods received related to these encumbrances. So we're going to say that we received all the goods related to these encumbrances. And therefore, we don't need to estimate uh, which of the encumbrances we received and which ones we have not we're simply going to reverse the entire encumbrance then we're going to record the activity in terms of the expenditure as we would normally see it but in terms of the actual amount so note that the encumbrance could be an estimate the actual is going to be the actual so this would be the point in time that we would normally record what would be an expense or expenditure for us but now we have to do the opposite or reverse what we did before which is put it into a holding account and then we can record the normal type of expenditure once again note that we have the groupings here of the different groups public safety public works and so on we're not going to record the groupings we're going to record the one line item and then have a subsidiary ledger for the general fund 
that will give us the detail of those groupings. So first we're going to redo we're going to remove the encumbrance. So now we're just going to do the exact reversal of the other account of the other transaction and this is why I would call it a clearing account. It went up from 0 up to this amount. Now we're going to reverse it entirely not because these temporary accounts are being closed out to the fund balance or what would be the equity section but because we are now uh, triggering it by some other thing that other thing being the fact that the actual expenses are going to be recognized so we're just going to reverse exactly what we had so that this time we're going to debit the encumbrances outstanding here's what was in the encumbrances outstanding we debit it bringing it back down to zero that's what i would call a clearing account here's what we're going to credit and remember that's different than what we would normally do for for expenses because these are going to be the encumbrances we're going to credit that's different than what we would do for expenses which generally only go up in the debit direction so we'll credit these items and they go down to zero and so note that once again this is not a budgetary account this is not a normal income statement revenue or expenditure or expense type of account it's going up and then down not based on being closed out to the equity but based on just being a holding type of account next we're going to record the actual expenditure so now we have the actual amount here we've reversed it these are the same related items here but this was an estimate this is now the actual once the actual zero will do what would normally happen under normal type of accrual accounting that would be that we would debit expenses in this case expenditures that being the account for the modified accrual of the general fund and then credit what would be accounts payable what we would typically think of it but this time we're going to just call it vouchers payable so we're going to say here's going to be our transaction expenditures goes from zero up in the debit direction and there's going to be our expenditures other side is going to be increasing the liability as we would expect going from zero up in the credit direction at this point in time we're in kind of normal type of territory this would seem somewhat normal in terms of accrual type of accounting the next thing that would happen is that we would pay off the vouchers payable and that would be another kind of normal type of transaction we would credit cash we would debit the, the liability the payable and that would look like this if we were to post this out cash would be credited we would then pay the cash cash going down the other side being the debit to vouchers payable it having a credit balance we doing the opposite thing to it to make it go back down to zero so that's the general cycle that you want to get used to with it within these encumbrances we're going to first put it into the encumbrances when we have an estimate then we're going to take it out of the encumbrances entirely to record the normal kind of transaction which would be the expenditure type of transaction and then if we have a payable we'll do the normal type of payable and uh, record the payable, reducing the payable, taking it to cash.